Hi guys, so Sony's 3.5 firmware has finally been delivered to the Sony PS4 and along with it is Remote Play so whereas you can stream your PS4 on your PC For me, I thought this would be pretty good because I use uh, PC and uh, my PC and PS4 on the same monitor and I thought I'll try this because it will help out without obviously having to keep changing screens when I'm doing stuff So here it is Nice and simple control via USB cable on in the PC, which isn't too bad. But I found one major bug with it, which really winds me up. I don't like. So I unplug that, and it tells me it's about to lose connection. And this time it didn't actually. But as soon as I do this, as soon as they say if I find some latency issues, say I've got some issues around the house or something that's interfering with the streaming, I can't just go bang and log my controller in. So as soon as I do that, it freezes up and then it kicks me off because another controller is connected to it. And if you hear in the background, you can just hear it beeping because it's about to lose connection. To me, I think that's one real issue. Let's see what the suggested actions are. If your PS4 is located too far away, it might be difficult to connect to it. Or the device on your network might be using a large amount of bandwidth. The network might be term temporarily congested. The network connection speed might not be strong enough. Mind you, my internet, I've got a Top end Asus router, it's a gaming class router, and it does a lot. I've got it set to high quality, but the issue isn't any of these. I can tell you that now because it's all because I've connected my PS connected up to my PS4 with my controller myself. As soon as I connect to it again, keep an eye on this and then keep an eye on the screen. As soon as that connects to the actual PS4, this controller will turn off. Oh, it's already has turned off. But yeah, it turns off the controller and then you can't use the controller natively, it just doesn't allow it. You have to stream the controller's inputs over the network, which to me I think is stupid because I'm sat in the same room as my PlayStation. It's just ease of access for me. Uh, well, not so much ease of access, it's just the fact that I can just, if, I, if I'm sat here, I can just go in, use it on the PlayStation, and then simple as that. But now I have to plug it into my computer. One thing I haven't tried, which I am going to try now, is I'm going to unplug the controller from the PC and plug it straight into the PlayStation. I'm not talking to you PlayStation. Right, I'm logging now. And still again, does the same thing. What I'm going to try though now, is I'm going to wait for it to crash, or cancel it off myself. Load it back up. Now my, I'm wired connected to the PlayStation. It'll probably still end up disconnecting me, so I'm not sure if the actual controller Uses the wireless protocols over the cable, uh, introduces the cable for charging, but we'll see. No, it's just put it straight into charging mode again. So now my controller is charging while it's connecting to the PlayStation, and my controller is useless, and I can't actually use the controller with the PlayStation itself, which to me, I think, is a bit stupid. Because, oh, I know, I understand that they're doing it to stop people, say, um, having. Someone else connects control up, logging as them, and then uh, like taking control. But if I don't want to stream my console commands over PC, then and my controller commands over PC, why should I have to do it? Uh, why can't I do it by the PlayStation itself? So, like, a good one, good way to look at it is the is, um, Steam and Home Streaming. You can actually use wide connection to the PC that's been used. Let's just say if I'm Sat here using my Steam P it, my main gaming PC, and I've got a small PC over by the TV, and I'm streaming games over to the PC. I can use my controller straight up on the main PC, and then just sit on the bed and play in bed with the controller that's connected to the main PC, without any lag off the controller inputs. But anyway, yeah, that's just one thing I found out with it, and uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. I don't like it. I think I should be able to just connect my controller straight up to the PlayStation 4 and play while streaming without having to worry about it. Because my main thing that I was hoping to do is be able to record gameplay, have it streaming in 720p on the desktop, recording it from the desktop while I'm doing my ga game, recording gameplay, and then I don't actually have to do any external capturing on the PC or on the um, PlayStation 4 to the PC, so I'm not basically using a capture card or anything. So, But yeah, that's just what I found and my gripes with it. But I'm sure many people will love it. Right, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, give us a like. If you want to see more content, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.